welcome to part three guys okay so i know this is real ghetto but i use the vase in my house to as my wig head because i don't have a wig head from i brought it from home goods for 16.99 guys this this thing helped me make the best wig i've ever made in my life i love that thing okay so this is the wig and i put it look it's so nice and snug even without tacking it down I absolutely love it okay so you guys can see the anchor braid that I put to the side that's why I did it because when I'm ready I can make it a middle part or a side part okay so now we're about to tack it down I'm just gonna use a regular old needle well weaving needle and weaving thread and I'm just gonna tack it at certain places I'm not like sewing it all the way around my head I'm just tacking it down on certain places because like I said I'm only gonna wear it for a few days take it off wash condition probably wear my hair out do a variety of things so this makes it so non-permanent but stable can't get no better than that and i'm sorry for the cut off but i was looking in the mirror at the same time look see it's not going nowhere but if you don't have the needle you can just use bobby pins and these are the long ones and tack it directly to your anchor braid and trust me your wig ain't going nowhere so i'll put a I put pins in just to show you that you can use those too, and I put put them in the sides and in the back. Okay. So guys, do y'all see the dimension in this hair? The low lights and the highlights. I'm telling the color came out beautiful. So now I'm just taking out uh, my leave out. And remember, all I put on my hair was Giovanni direct leave in. That was all I put on that part. I'm just letting y'all know that. Okay. So. I'm going to separate where I want my uh, part and spread it out. Now, in my opinion, the best way to blend your hair is to combine your hair with the extensions. Don't keep it separate because then it's going to separate after you actually try to style it. Combine them. So I'm going to take my styler from, um, who was that by? I forget. Antoine Couture. And I'm going to put enough on there to where I make sure that it, you know, I get a pretty decent hold. And I comb the hair, the extensions, and my hair together. And then I do a flat twist away from the part. So the way you do the flat twist is very important. Not only that, but I need you guys to take your time doing flat, doing this type of flat twist because you want it so well defined to where you have no idea that there's a separation between your hair and the extension. So take your time to make sure that you get as much of a defined curl pattern as possible. As you can see here, I'm actually taking my time, really pushing my finger through, making sure that my hair curls, or, uh, curls all the way around the other hair so I can get a really nice twist out. Really good and defined twist. And I twist it all the way down. Then I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm just going to tack it right at the root of it just because I wanna make sure it stays elongated. You know, our hair, when it get a little wet, it will shrink up on us. So I put that just to make sure it stays elongated. And I do the same thing to the other side and I also do my edges. and I combine them with hair as well. And that's it. And I play with the beauty. Look, that hair is so freaking gorgeous. It's ridiculous. Ugh, that hair, no, seriously. Y'all know that hair is pretty. That, this, yeah, yeah, the hair, yeah, the hair. Look at the low lights and the highlights and the ends. The hair is gorgeous. But that's it, guys. And now I'm gonna put on my bonnet um, and I'm gonna call it a night. Good morning. Okay, so makeup is done, and now it's time to take these out. I left them in, like I said, overnight. So it was about eight, nine hours, something like that. Look how well defined. Now, right there, you can't even tell the difference between the weave and my hair, and that's exactly what you're trying to accomplish. But take your time taking them out. You want to try to prevent as much frizz as possible, and never separate your hair from the extension. Look at the blend. Look at, is that a little piece of gray hair? Oh, get your life. But look at the blend. You can't, yes. Yes, it's really nice. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you watch all three parts 
Thank you to Sheena's Hair Emporium for sponsoring these videos. I love you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you already know what to do. Follow me at Shalinda1 and everywhere else. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Stay blessed. Look to be a blessing to others. And I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.